The Philippine Navy PN, formally received its first ever advanced fixed wing unmanned aerial system, UAS, the Scan Eagle UAS, in a ceremony held at the Maglion Hall in Naval Base Heraclio Olano in Sangli Point, Cavite today, November 25. The event was graced by the AFP Deputy Chief of Staff, Vice Administration. Eric Kagayan, who represented the Secretary of National Defense, SND, Delphin Lorenzana as the guest of honor and speaker. He was joined by the Navy Chief, Vice Administration. Giovanni Carlo Bacordo together with the Philippine Fleet Commander, Rear Administration. Laumer P. Burnab and other senior leaders of the PN. Acting Deputy Chief of Mission Kimberly Kelly and representatives from the U.S. Embassy turned over a scan eagle as to the PN which will be utilized by the recently activated squadron under the Philippine Fleet's Naval Air Wing, the Maritime Unmanned Aerial Reconnaissance Squadron, Muir's 71. Transferring the Scan Eagle system for operation by the Maritime Unmanned Aerial Reconnaissance Squadron represents the steadfast commitment by the United States to our partners in the armed forces of the Philippines, said Acting Deputy Chief of Mission Kelly. In the SND's remarks delivered by Vice Admiral Cagayan, Secretary Lorenzana said that this new assets will complement the same kind being operated by the 300th Air Intelligence and Security Wing at the Antonio Bautista Air Base in Palawan, which is very close to the disputed areas in the West Philippine Sea that needs our consistent attention. This advanced UAS composed of eight air vehicles, two launchers, Skyhook and Ground Control Station, was acquired through the Maritime Security Initiative Program of the United States, requested by the PN in 2017 and was formalized in February 2019, after series of dialogues with Philippines Joint U.S. Military Assistance Group, JUSMAG Phil. It has an estimated cost of 14.79 million U.S. dollars. The Scan Eagle UAS is a product of In-Situ Incorporated, a subsidiary of the Boeing Company. It is a small, long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle primarily used for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, of the PN, since it provides near real-time coverage and can be launched from both land and aboard Navy's capital ships. With its longer range and prolonged flight time, it will improve our ship's coverage in protecting our maritime waters, acting as the eye in the sky, which are also useful during the humanitarian assistance and disaster response operations and search and rescue missions. Aside from its primary use for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, the Scan Eagle UAS will greatly aid our organization in the effective assessment of the subject areas, timely decision-making, and prompt action in the conduct of territorial defense, internal security operations, as well as humanitarian assistance and disaster response, said Philippine Fleet Commander Burnham. The implementation of this project manifests the steadfastness of the Philippine Navy and the armed forces of the Philippines to sustain its development and modernization, to better fulfill its mandates even being at the forefront of our battle against the COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing disaster response and relief operations in light of calamities.